still wading through the impacts of this historic election. And while the national race has stolen most of the headlines, there is a lot to discuss right here in Nebraska. Yeah, a groundbreaking decision by Nebraska voters, making our state the first where the statewide electorate put an abortion ban into the state's constitution, bucking the national trend since Roe fell in 2022. 10-11's John Grinvalds has this story breaking down what it all means. Nebraska's 12-week abortion ban came out of the legislature back in 2023, and now it seems it's here to stay, with people in the state giving it a major vote of confidence by approving Initiative 434. It was a confusing mix of numbers and campaign names. Protect Our Rights for 439 to expand abortion access up to fetal viability. Protect Women and Children for 434 to ban abortion in the second and third trimesters. But in the end of an unprecedented race between two contradictory initiatives on the ballot, 439 didn't even clear 50%, and 434 brought in more than 55% in favor. I do believe that Nebraska is a pro-life state. We're very encouraged by the number of people who stepped up to help, a lot of new faces, a lot of new people. And I want to thank them for that effort. Having the competing initiatives on the ballot um, really muddied the waters. It confused voters. I can't tell you how many people I talked to thought that they were voting for um, women's reproductive rights and they accidentally did the opposite. Folks with Protect Our Rights tell me the fight isn't over, but they aren't exactly clear on how to proceed in the face of the constitutional change. Per the Nebraska Board of Canvassers, the state will have until December 2nd to certify these results, and then Governor Jim Pillen will have 10 days to issue a proclamation to formally change the Constitution. Reporting in Lincoln, John Grinvolts, 1011 News.